made with a brush in a different coloured stamper. And that was in the kitchen. No, it was paper. You couldn't buy paper. There wasn't any paper. Oh, gradually we made it better and better. Did things. There was no, there was no electric in. We put the electric. Dad helped Dennis Weston to put it in. And he did all he did all labouring, taking uh, skirt boards off. They found all sorts of uh, nice nests and all sorts of the floorboard. Mm -hmm. And uh, he gave him one not the price of one plug, one joint, whatever you call them, things at the back, mm -hmm. uh, for doing it. And he helped him all the way through the house to do that. <laughs> and that's all he gave him for all his work. Well, I thought it was like magic, put it light on in there. <laughs> it was gas light, it was gas. There was even gas up to that. Mm. What, you thought the gas light was magic? No, oh, so electric was. Mm. I got it in. We'd had electric in um, uh, Mrs. Candles of Home Nook, you know, in Donison Road. But we'd never had it ourselves before. Because when we were adult and we didn't have it. And when we were, were in Cavendish Street, we didn't have it. We had that. It's the first time we'd had electric for ourselves. No, I can remember when uh, there was more in me and, and Leslie it was a just little baby then. And uh, we went with Pram and went to wait back door, back way, you see. Well, Mrs. Mitchell. Uh, lived in that one of the that first cottage, and uh, Mrs. Miller was visiting her, and they were in open, the door was open, and she saw us coming. You see, so she shouts out, Mrs. Miller shouts out, "As thou getting to house?" I says, "I don't know yet. I'm just going to have a look at it." And she says, "I says I don't know whether I'm going to check it or not, but I says I'll just come to have a look at it." So I said, "She says, I'll tell this whole thing, Pilar." She says, "If you'll never." If you take it, they'll go out of it better off than they went into it. And I could have just done this stuff saying, you know, I thought, oh, she's just having me on. And all anyway, I uh, went in and I looked. And it was a funny little kitchen with this little back kitchen to me after I'd been in a big house, you know. But anyway, the rooms didn't look so bad. And, and Mary looked at me and I looked at her and she's, I think, well, come now. I said, well, I don't know. Uh, I'll have to ask your dad, like, because he was in hospital and all the rest of it. I said, well, it was... We looked round and took a notice of it and we went down to sell it, have a look, and that looked damp and miserable, you know. Anyway, we went and told him. When I went, when I went visited, I told him about it. He said, uh, well, I couldn't tell him at first because it was very, very poorly. So about a week passed by and she kept bothering me, did Mrs. Kendall, about having this house. So I said, well, I said, I haven't been able to talk to Bill yet, but I will. So I talked, I said to him, uh, that Mrs. Kendall had offered us this house and she wants us to go and get it, she wants us to have it. She wanted rid of us where we were, you see. And, uh, well, he says, I don't know about that, he said. There's no water in that house, you know, water's outside in the yard. I said, well, I think I saw a tap and I think it gone eh? Well, he says, there's water in the yard. And he says, why have they got water in the yard? It was the water in the houses. Anyway, apparently it was for the other two. They hadn't had water. They had it later, but they hadn't had it. I think it had been at one time. There was a tap in the yard for the lot, you know, those up the back and them little ones down there. Anyway, um, when uh, I said, well, I'll check over it again. He says, if you like it, and there is water in it, Robert says, I'm not going into one that there's no water in. He says, I'm not carrying water everywhere. So I went to check up and it was there. And anyway, Mrs. Kendall said, well, I'm afraid you'll have to have it whether you like it or not. Because she said, uh, but I think it's time now that you went into one of your own. And she says, here's the rent book and I've paid two weeks. She paid two weeks' rent to make sure we were good, I don't say. But anyway, it wasn't so bad when we got in, we got it on. Everybody rallied round because Bill was in hospital. When he came out, he had a little bed 
in the front row for him. And then he contacted the uh, pleurisy when he got home. At the time when they were just sort of getting walking out a bit, that many folks stopped him. I think he got cold. And he had pleurisy, but anyway, he got over that as well. He'd never been well, never been a well. I was nearly two when I was when I was there. Our our assess was born in that house. Hmm. So it's um she would be about five and she's eighty seven eighty eight. So she's been there eighty three years. Long time, isn't it? Mm. Did you find a place to sit down? Auntie Jenny's. Uh, oh, uh, is that that? Is that that where in that house where you were telling me about it to? What was it something about you had to have a penny or something? What was that about? Oh, when I pinched a penny yeah. instead of eight, yeah. 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 Out of drawer, inside board, same old side board that's there. Money drawer was top little drawer. There's two two little drawers on a shelf and two little drawers on the top of this dresser. Where it is, where it's at the back of the kitchen there. That money drawer used to be top little drawer. The folks were very open with their money and things them days, you know. So I asked, could, could I have eight lift? I wanted something to stop when I was going back to school. So of course we'd all slide floors, we'd no carpets down, you know, at all. So there wasn't eight lift, so I took a penny, of course. I didn't say I'd take my penny. I would have gone away, got away with it if I hadn't dropped it. Dropped it halfway up lobby. Mother in that kitchen, she shouts, hey, what was that again, drop? I says, oh, well, it's a penny, but I'm going to bring you in the back. She says, oh, are you? Aye, well, he says, pick it up again then. Come on, fetch it through. He says, put it in that drawer. She said, you know, no intention of fetching me in the back. Get yourself gone. Never got me in even. I had to go. I, I wasn't, I didn't intend to fetch it back, really, but I said I was when I dropped it. Very strict, but in a nice way. Mm -hmm. in, in a nice way. Didn't give me good hiding, but it was a better example. I can remember it to this day. You see, to take it back and put it back. He took it without being told. If I'd have said, I'll take a penny, I'll bring you me back to her, then she'd have believed me. But I had no intention, of course. I thought, oh, penny, you know. <laughs> it wasn't it, me. So I had to bring it back and put it back in drawer. So he didn't ask again very quickly after that. Anyway, all sorts of things. Well, I was 21 when I came to Augustine. I was 21, I was 24 when I got married. But uh, I was away in service from being 13. Mm. I never was much on above a fortnight ever after that. Which is that first one you went to, when, the one where you wrote that? Up by Clarence House for the first six months. That was a day place, and I was on. I was still on then. I was thirteen then. Uh, then I went to, from there to. I went with them back to Liverpool to take help them with baby and take them in, and I was there a month looking after them while they got settled in their home. Then I was sent home, of course. Uh, where did I go second? Oh, up to that damn farm house. Oh, but. Um, where the television thing is. Tuna Park, back of Lindell there, where we go. And I was only there a few weeks when she packed me off. I can't have been there so long because I think it was the first, uh, the 11th of November, uh, I don't know about the 11th, the beginning of November when they were hiring, the first hiring it was. And then we, I went with this friend, uh, her mother was taking her to get hired. She hadn't done anything. She's the same age as me, but I had been to day service like in between. So she she was taking her to be hired, and he hired me. Did this fellow you see? And I got home. Our mother was mad. She'd no right. She would have no right to have let me be 
Ayat, she said, I should have been with you if I wanted you to be Ayat. Anyway, she says, well, you can try if you want to, but she says, if you don't want to go, you don't have to. She says, it'd be damned hard work, and she told me all what goes on in farmhouses, you see. So anyway, I thought, oh, I'd go, clever clogs, you know, somewhere uh, better than this and all this sort of thing, you know, four shillings, but six months, I was four pounds for six months I was going to get. Anyway. Uh, it was just before Christmas when that daughter packed up for me and said, told me to go. She said, she's going to kill you if you don't be off. So she packed all my things and set me up at six o'clock in the morning, walking down the lane with my tin box. It was a big, like, like a little trunk, you know, a little one. So I took, and I walked all the way home with that as well. I'd go, I went with carrier cart when I went to the end at road, but I walked all the way to Dalton with that, down Broughton Road again. I ended up black dog and round and down tight up, you know, round and top of Dalton there. Mm. And, uh, well, I told you my mother went to Union and they said well, if, he, if she paid me a fee, he'd go and tight for me and he got a third of my wages. So, wasn't very much, you know, wasn't very much at all. She came up better than like. So after that, where did I go? I wasn't at all very long. I was never at all very long. Where did I go to after that? Oh, I went to, um, uh, at the beginning of the season, I'll tell you how long I've been. I was at home from Christmas to uh, first boat going up Lake. Whatever time it goes up Whitsuntide, is it, or Easter? The Whitsuntide. Well, whenever the boat started, all them years ago, going up the lake. I went to Ambleside to a place there for the year, for the visitors, you know, six months, seven months or something. So I went to the first boat up and I came back down on the last boat. And they hadn't been home in between. We didn't, we didn't come home in between, you know. We'd not, we had half day off, but it wasn't half day really. When he came off, after he'd washed up at dinner time, he could go out till six o'clock. And then you'd uh, knuckle in again, wash up after teas and all sorts. It was, um, um, Visitor's house, you know. On that road, I've often said to you that's where I used to work, mm. there, on one of them big houses there on the side. And uh, stayed there, that was the first six months. From there, I got myself a job. Did I go to a school first? I did I go to. A, yes, I went to school. Uh, Snow School in Windermere. Wanted some. They, 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 they were, it was a private school for boys. I went there, I think I was there, was, uh, a term. You see, you only got to take none for the term while the boys were there, and then they went off for the holidays, but you were stopped. From there I went to a retired vicar and his wife and two daughters. Oh, dear me. Talk about um, pride and prejudice. It was a bit that way, you know. I stayed there a while. I remember from there. From there I went to... How did I get to Ironside? I must have come home and gone to register office. You used to go to register office and then, you know, put the fee in and then they had some people on the books and you chose. I went to see them, see if you could get it. So I went to Ironside. I thought it was a bit nearer home for three months. Now I got sacked from there. We all got sacked, all of us. That was where the old fellow was wanting drink and we were told by the doctor we had to tell him where the key was. We all knew where Key was to tell him, but we, we were told, we were put on our honour not to tell him where it was, because he was a drunk sort of was, really. We had two sons, they didn't work, they used to just go out shooting and fishing and they had dogs and all sorts of things. Anyway, that was that place we looked for when we went on our side. So I got, I got sacked from there and it wasn't really a good idea when I went home. We got it sacked, it wasn't my fault. We all got it. Anyway, the old lady was nice to us. She gave us an extra half crown as we came out at room after he paid us off. Hmm. They had no, no, they had the cookery, but they cleared the whole blooming lot and cooked them in with them for years. So that was that one. From there, I was home a bit. And uh, then I went to boys' school at Blackburn. Stacia Dunn lived next door to Aunt Janie and she was going back to this job and she was looking for somebody 
Chris Taff, to take back with her. She was a, a what do you call housekeeper on this, this this boy's school. They had long holidays, you see, and after Christmas there it was. Uh, so I went back with her for a a term. I liked it quite well, but it was only a season job again, you see. You know, when when the holidays came, they they didn't keep you on. They stopped you and bought, got more stuff, because plenty of folk then, you know, to get stuff with. So from there I went to, I got a job myself in Blackburn, to this editor of um, Telegraph. And I stayed there quite a long time. Well, I stayed there until Alma persuaded me to go into the mill. And I went into the mill for two years, because they were making two pounds a week, which was a lot then. If you had four, four loans to look after, you could get two pounds. Well, went and, and uh, uh, Amy's friend, she taught me these loans. So I got taken on there and I had four loans. That was all right for a bit, but uh, you could only make 10 shillings a week off a, two, off a loan. That would have made two pounds. And uh, old uh, Grandma Wheel, she wanted 18 shillings off of them two pounds for keeping it. So, took a good bit back. I always had to send something home to my mother, so I wasn't really all that well off. But when I got down to three looms, when things weren't doing so well, you got down to three looms, well, it was tight going. And then when I got down to two, well, it was no use at all. One pound a week, pair at 18 shillings. They only left me with two shillings, you see. Well, I could neither send out all my, it didn't do me any good, so I decided to come home. I was 21 then. So I decided to come home to them. So I went up how to get here in Ulverston to Miss Hartley. She used to have an, it's opposite where Smithy is. She had a registry office. And when I went there, she says, I've got a very job for you. She says, it's only just come in this morning. She says, I think you'll just be right. I didn't tell her about being at Miller. I just told her about being at Britain, as you say. I didn't, I was looking for domestic service. I didn't, didn't tell her I'd been at Miller. I said I'd been for domestic service there and I told it where I'd been. Because I had, uh, I had, um, uh, papers from them because I, I, I had to come away from them because the boss died and they closed the house. The wife had died first, then the boss died. So there was nobody there. You must just went somewhere else, you see. So I had to come away from there. And I, I only got stuck in one place and that was that place at Elmside. So I came away from there and uh, I went there. And so she said, now, Dr. Smith's coming to live here. And she explained like it was partner to Dr. Christie and, and they were going into 12 Princess Street. It was empty and they'd just got the furniture nicely in and they were coming to stay as per, I think it was, I was only, it only took me about a fortnight negotiating between applying for job, getting it and getting with them. And the day they came down from Scotland to live there was the day I went to work for them. And I worked there for the night. So it's quite a lot of places I've been. Big grandma daddy. Mm. Six weeks after I came, he asked me out. He's only window cleaner. He was just there. He was a fella and he was a nice lad. And so I started going out and went dancing and I did all sorts of things. I did. Just like to walk, you know. And got on that way. That's my life. One, two. You know the rest, you were there when all the tragedies happened. Yeah. Would you like another to be looking at them? Side of them. Oh, the buttercup's looking too. Flowers this year. A year and a fortnight old. I was a year and a fortnight old. So say a year, and I'm 85. So she's been 84. 84. In February. Oh. 85 mm. next February. Mm. You are. Yeah. 
No, she'll have been in the house. She'll have been in the house 85 years in February. Mm -hmm. And I was about three, I was four in the June after we went up in February. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the year after we went up into there, we had our sister in, on the, in the March. The year after that, in August, I went lame. Mm. So I've been lame 82 years this summer. Mm. There was about six of you, wasn't there, in, in Dalton? I think there must have been a few. Yes, there were six, but uh, there was that... Uh, Cobbler boy, wasn't there? There was Billy Cornish. Billy Cornish and the other lad down at uh, Mended Shoes in Wellington, not Wellington Street, just next corner of the bank, where the school is. Oh, Dickie, Dickie Flynn was a yes. uh, long way after. Was he? Was he well after when he got it? Oh, did you go the same time? And Billy Cornish got the same time as you did, did he? Because mm. he had a lame leg like you, wasn't he? Mm. Well, he, I was going to go to school on the Monday and I went to bed on the Saturday night and I shouted downstairs, I can't walk. So I got carried down then and that was the last time I ever, I never went to, I never went to school again for 12 months. No. And you went a lot of time, didn't you, to, uh... Liverpool. Uh, Liverpool, kept going, coming back, going, coming back, and then you went for a long period, didn't you? To uh, across the water. I would say, yeah, we used to go, but. Uh, oh, what was it for? I've forgotten myself. Rock Ferry. To go into Eswald. Eswald, that was the one I was looking mm -hmm. for, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And I was ready for coming home, so the sister said, from the 13th of September, 1911. Did you go back to school then? There wasn't a school at sc there then. But did you go back to school and you came home? You know? I came back to school after I came home, but it wasn't a school while you were there. No. Everything I had learned down at Green School, I lost. Every mortal thing, I didn't know a thing when I went to school. My mother wanted me to go into the infant school and mistress wouldn't take me. She said I was too old. So I had to go into first class and the teacher had all her kids to do and she had to take me right from beginning with pot hooks and everything. I always remember making a lot of pot hooks. A lot and of then what? having to join them all up. What in the end? But after that, they got school teachers for so so long in the day. I can remember going to school first time with you. Hmm? I can remember going to, to school with you hmm. when I was three. You must have been home then, three, four, five and a half you'd be then, were you? I was seven when I went to school. You were seven when you went to school. Oh, well, you took, you took me. Oh, no, perhaps it wasn't you. You were at school before I went I because... Was, I, well, I went with somebody. I, who would I go with? Our oh, Jack? No, you went to top school, our oh, Jack went to I, green. It was, it was at the top school. It was at Broughton, Broughton Road. But I went with someone because I know halfway through I wanted to go to see who it was that had taken me. I thought it was you, can't have been. Mm. We started off at Chapel Street until a at baby, top, yes. baby's Chapel classes Street. were at the back and we were at the front. Well, that was it. That was where I went. I remember going to uh, in Chapel Street. From, from Chapel Street end in. Ah, well, Miss Moss, Mrs. Moss was headmistress. Mm. And mm. she wouldn't take me. Oh. Well, I thought I went with you. I know I went with someone, and I know when I was halfway through the class, I wanted to go back to see whoever else it was that took me, and I thought it was you. Seven. 
Oh, you, you, you were at school. Your, our Jack and you were both at school. And I don't know whether it could have been a, a school board man or what it was, but our mother just said to me, she says, does thou want to go to school? And I said, yes. And that's how I got If I'd have said, no, I don't think I would have gone to school yet. Because in those days, it didn't bother. Mm -hmm. You went to school then, wouldn't you? After you, if you didn't go, you, you took a, a hooky day. Well, I just said I wanted to go. Well, you could walk then, couldn't you? And you could skip and you could do all sorts of things for when you first came home. Yes, but when I went to school, I got taken in that trolley. And our Jack used to have to fetch me dinner up at dinner time. Did it? And then he used to have to go and get his own mm -hmm. dinner and get back to school down at green school. Well, no, I can't remember this, you know. This is new to me. Yes. So, there was one day, I made Jeffreys had a big book. It was, a, a, she'd think, a nanny, a girl's annual or something mm -hmm. like that. And she'd left it to another girl. This girl gave her it. And she says, oh, she says, I didn't want it back. She says, here, you can have it. Well, I was surprised, you know, got it, and I thought, well, you will not take it home. Mm. So I got down home, and my mother said, well, if thou can fetch that book up, she said, I can go to school on the own. Mm. <laughs> so from then, I went to school on my own, mm. and yes, I... I liked skipping and I liked all sorts of things. And I was told they had to skip because my foot was getting bent. Yes, I, too know, often. I remember that. I remember that. It was always having a hole across, always his across middle. the bottom. Mm. So I didn't have to. Mm. Oh, no, I see you skipping. I hadn't have a skipping mm. do. You know what I remember? Walking around the, uh, the, the schoolyard there in Chapel Street when it was Empire Day, it was Empire that, Day flag up, that flag up on the lamppost yeah. and we would all by, walk by and salute. We salute <laughs> thee yes, and that's it. we pray God to bless our land <laughs> today. Yeah, right. I can remember that, all, all in school, yeah, all in white frocks. Mm. At Maple Goin and, mm. oh, there was they used but to make quite a do on Maple Day. It, it, it was yes. Empire Day. They had to have your little lot of daisies. Uh, you had to have your red, white, and blue red ribbon, red ribbon didn't you? Aye. Uh, carpet chair, pushing you all the way to ask them. Pick me. Do you remember stopping at that uh, long row before we got to the station, you know? Nice long row. I didn't. Uh, uh, road. And we didn't pick first else, you wanted a drink. So, of course, you were a good tag for us because you were sat in chair, you see. Uh, please, can you give us a drink for my sister? She's, she's dry. It was one that was wanting a drink. So, this lady comes out with a little glass of lemonade. Favour me, you see. So, we all had a, a drink of this lemonade. She had both and we, we, we got some as well. So, of course, next time we went. <laughs> We knocked at the same door. <laughs> we weren't catching on a second time. Yeah, we got water next time. Yeah. So we didn't call again. Wanted lemonade. <laughs>